Okay, so I measure a piece of this is a uh, vinyl. It's like fake leather. See, it looks like it looks like leather. And I check if the center here is where I want my neck piece to go, like the hole. And I, I just threw it over my shoulder and extended my arm to see where it's going to go. And uh, yeah, from there I'm, I take my tape measure here and I measure and I'm going to mark the center there and then make a hole large enough for my head. Okay, so I measure my head and then I mark the center and this is a radius and this is the diameter of the head and then here to here it's maybe a little smaller and this part a little longer because this is going to be the longer side of it if they're both the same it doesn't really matter which way it face but like this is like the neck groove it's like a v-neck kind of shape and I'm going to cut this out okay so uh, here I have my exacto knife there are a bunch of different blade sizes but I'm going to uh, go around and cut this and it's better to to hold the leather down with one hand and then the other hand will go around and just just use wrist motions to to cut this and I put a I put a, um, a cutting board underneath you don't want to cut on top of mom's table okay so as you can see it kind of looks like a garbage bag right now but I have made the hole too big for my neck uh, yeah and uh, you should probably use a shirt that you have already made well, not already made like you have a shirt and then like measure the the head hole for your hole cuz like I'll have to do with this because I already cut it out but you know for next time this is too big okay so I measured my waist uh, yeah the width of my waist and where I'm going to you know like where the belt is going to be just above like probably here on my hip and I'm going to cut out you know where the the loincloth area is going to be and uh, we'll see where we go from there okay so I have the waist area and it's cut and it it wraps it wraps around my hip and I'm going to do that for the other side too and there's oops uh, like this there we go and uh, I don't know if my hands are in the way there's like my shoulder part I have to cut this so it it exposes like it's like a muscle shirt kind of but like you know you put your arm through it I don't want sleeves on this but if you wanted to, you could have uh, extra here for room for a, a shoulder pad. You could actually put metal or something like uh, like uh, closed foam, uh, yeah, closed particle foam on top of here to make the armor look for the shoulders. And uh, I thought about I thought about the headpiece. Oh, I, I thought about the headpiece, and I think I'll just put. You know, like uh, like a hood that's uh, sewed onto the uh, neck area, and uh, yeah, no, my armor will have a hood. All right. Okay, so now I put it back on, and then I checked where the arms are going to uh, meet up, like when it goes, when I went around, and then join. And I'm going to have to measure my torso area underneath the armpits and then mark the line here to cut from here to here because those pieces are going to fold over each other once I close the uh, the armor and that will make the you know the the kind of like the sleeves at the same time okay so uh, now my friends are here and they're going to help me with the cutting of the armpits here it's always better to have more hands You can talk to. You see what well, we're doing. We're just we're pretty cutting much just... the material for your breastplate slash um, yeah. blacksmithing apron type thing. Yeah, it's kind of an apron, but it's going to be. It's a battle of, apron. Yeah, it's called that Brigadine armor. 
and it's gonna have plates later. I didn't, I didn't decided. You could use Brigadine armor counts as medium armor, yes. but you can have this leather, and then you could have extra leather squares on it, or you could put metal, or some, some people use closed cell foam. You know, I was thinking like closed yeah. cell foam pieces, like thin ones, Yeah. and then like bevel it, and then it'll be like light pieces of thick steel that you can spray paint them later. So here's now, this. Now what? If you put it on, it, your armpits should be... Okay, right. make sure I take these out. Yes. yes. I won't put it on with the pins on. on. All right. So... Now, There's a pin if... cushion for a reason, drummer. <laughs> so here's the armor's on. Like, you're and not going to be able to flip it over, so you need, to, like, later, so you need to make sure that this is good. Because, yeah. like, these, these are, like, little flaps here, and they're going to... They're gonna fold, fold over. over each other. Is and this like too much, or should it. I should I cut a little more here? No, looks good. Looks good, both sides. It's more like if I hold these shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you move your arms around? Okay. I can move my arms around. Battle stance, everything. Ah, okay, we're I like good. How I'm holding your hips. <laughs> yeah, <this> dance. <laughs> All right, you can pause the show now. My buddy here is uh, he's pinning the pieces. For day flaps, you want some room here because, like, if it's like skin tight, it's like a tailored clothes, but it's like a one piece leather tailored clothes, you're not gonna be able to slip back in you. This looks kind of girly. It's the pink cushion. I know, but like, like men don't sew. This yes, makes they it do. look worse. <laughs> Every man in the military sews. Really? Yes. Oh, okay, I don't feel that bad. Battle time. Well, yeah, they have to sew all their uh, stuff on. Stuff up here. I'm just gonna put one in. Stuff there. is a technical word, people. Um, badges. Badges. Oh, All right. All your badges. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's do the other side. You got two, uh, two on one side. I got three on one side. Oh, okay, that's good. You better. I'm gonna sew this on later. I think I'm gonna use fishing wire, or I have some black uh, string. Black string's good. Just get high grade. Sewing. I got some tough stuff. I kind of want this flap yeah, on the top of it, I'm, just like I'm, the other side. Move. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you think cardboard would be good for the the plates? No. No, uh, that would look kind of shitty. And if it like rained on it. Hold down here again. Hold down here. Right where my thumb and finger are. Okay. And then I'll get up here. Don't poke me. Did you sew my shirt onto it? No, you did I don't poke think me. so. He did poke me. <laughs> no, it, it is. wasn't that bad, but he did poke me. <laughs> For the record, yes, I poked you. Yeah, so he admits it. Right. So you kind of ask him for it. You, you can probably pause that. He's got the... Back to doing our own thing. Eric on his computer and doodling out his uh, orc sketches. Yes. Yeah. Good. That was your sketch. Okay. But, but 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 still, like we can give him way, some credit. Way to blow your own sails. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> All right. So uh, here I'm going to be folding. I don't, you can't really see much, but I'm going to be folding in so we don't have the ends here, and then I'm going to be sewing it on with uh, the, this black wool here. It's really thin, and then I'm going to be gluing. I'm also going to be gluing this, adding some glue in there and some extra strength. And I have some, some needles. See, the curved ones are for leather. That's probably the ones I'm going to be using for this one. So, so right, right here I have my curved hook in, and I folded the leather. And it's really hard to do, so it's, it's good to have a pair of pliers with this. And uh, pull this through with Dwarven the pliers. Armor. Yeah. Err. Wait, no, it's super hard to do. Ouch. Like, yeah. Stab yourself. Ah, so maybe like it'd be better to do the pilot holes first, but these are all gonna be like spaced evenly. This is gonna and, take like, a while. Probably one here and then one here. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. It always did. Like the 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 sofa that you guys are sitting on is fixed the same way. Like if you look at the stitching behind the seats there. Oh, go ahead. Oh, behind the, the, the camera. Yeah, just up, oh, up up there. See it? That's all done with this tool here, the same way with the pliers. Oh, that's how you got the fold in and everything. Yeah. That's nice. So I'm pulling the wire out like this, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this, and uh, so the next piece on here. 
Fold it all easily. Another craft website. We're gonna put some pins in to hold it for me, and uh, we're gonna finish sewing it the same way. Yeah. So yeah, here I got uh, the braids going, and I made it really th like close together here, and then longer spacing, and then closer together here, just to save some time. Yeah. And I'd say that this took us what? What do you think it took? Like thirty minutes? An hour. An hour. Okay. Well, it took an hour for one side. Yeah, but that's also then, because you stitched it double stitch. Yeah, we did double stitch it. You folded it, so it made it a lot harder to pierce. Yeah, well, I got my pliers, so it's not that bad. So I got the other side to do, but I might not even do it tonight. <laughs> oh, right, uh, so now I have all of the sides here are done. They're all, all stitched in. And uh, I have the whole skirt area to go to fold in. Or else uh, you get these these sides that look a bit like, you know... Not really like leather, because this is not leather, this is vinyl. So, but uh, in here I, I did uh, did stitch all of this all the way around. And uh, for the middle here, the neck part, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. I could put like a, like a piece of leather on the front and then make it like stitched or riveted in. Or um, make like a neck guard, like, or um, add like a hood on top of it and then have it just like you know go over it